How you doing, wrestling fans? Music City Wrestling on the air. Bert Prentice here along with my special guest host this week, Stephen Dunn. Stephen, we got a hot show here today. You know you've been at Music City Wrestling now for about six weeks. How have you enjoyed it? I'll tell you what, you know, Bert, I'm not stretching it by any means of the imagination. I've absolutely wrestled everywhere in the world, everywhere you can imagine Singapore to Japan to Puerto Rico, all over the Pacific Northwest, all over the country, of course, with the WWF, with WCW. And let me tell you something. The best talent, the, the toughest talent in the world right now is here in Music City Wrestling. Now, the fans are the greatest the greatest fans anywhere. You know that you've said it a hundred times. I'll say it a hundred more. I'm fired up to be here. The, the, you've brought the toughest competition, the toughest matches, the craziest matches I've seen in a long time right here in Music City. And I'm just fired up and I'm proud to be part of Music City Wrestling. Well, you're one of the most popular stars here. And I was tickled to death to sign you to a long-term agreement. But, Stephen, also, I know you always tell me how great the production is on the TV show and it's how it has an old time feel and we do that on, on purpose because we're trying to bring wrestling back to the kids, back to the families. You know, there's no alcohol ever sold at any of our events. We're here for the families. That's right, the non-smoking environment. You know, I love that. Uh, the, the, we love having all the kids out there. I love getting out there, signing autographs, taking, taking pictures with all the great fans of Music City Wrestling. They've supported us through Hard times, good times, and, you know, the, the fans right here in Music City Wrestling, like I said before, I said it like you said a hundred times, I'll say it a hundred times more, they're the greatest fans anywhere in the whole world. I'm proud to be here. I'm proud to be here associated with you and Music City Wrestling. Come see us. For centuries, they told us the terror would come from above. What if it came from below? It's nothing. Phantoms, rated R, starts everywhere January 23rd. Honey, we won. Huh? A Sony Home Entertainment Center, a Lazy Boy recliner, and $500 for a party. Snickers is giving away the living room of your dreams. Ah. Or nightmares. What'd we win? Oh, nothing. Snickers. Why wait? Win something. What's your night? The free ride. Invented by nature. Perfected by Greyhound. Just buy a ticket on Greyhound and a companion can ride along for free. Making it easy to grab a friend or family member and go wild. All right, we're here just sitting in the car. I want you to show me if you can get far. Step on the gas, step on the gas. Step on the brakes, step on the brakes. Now step on the gas, step on the gas. When I say boom, boom, boom. Say bam, bam, bam. No pause in between. Come on, let's jam. Check and turn the signal to the right. Now Rapper the Rapper, now great new music right. video game. Once you played it, you can't get it out of your head. Check and turn the signal to the right. PlayStation. Welcome everybody to today's Music City Wrestling Show in the ring. We got a hot one, ladies and gentlemen. The Colorado Kid in the multicolored trunks against Trailer Park Trash. The Colorado Kid, one of the perennial favorites here in Music City Wrestling, taking on one of the devious wrestlers, Trailer Park Trash. Referee Gene Johnson calling the action today on today's show. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a big one tonight. The gentleman you see in the ring, the Colorado Kid, trying to regain the North American heavyweight title. He will be in the ring tonight against Flash Flanagan. And I got to believe if he can eke out a victory over Flanagan, that Terry Golding can no longer hide, and the Colorado Kid will definitely get a rematch if he can beat Flanagan tonight. Can you imagine Flash Flanagan, Colorado Kid in the ring one-on-one? -on -one? Well, that's what's going to be tonight at the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena. We got an incredible card for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be an international television taping. And you know what I say, the Nashville audience is the best-looking wrestling audience in all of America, and you can come be on TV tonight at the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena for a big TV taping. 
everybody, and I mean everybody's going to be there. Nick Dinsmore is returning back to Music City Wrestling. Style and Shane is going to be right in the middle of a big six-man tag team war match. You got Frenchie Riviera, the 451-pound stripper, Billy Joe Travis, Jason Lee, and in the big main event, Terry Golden will, def uh, de will defend the North American heavyweight title against Wolfie D. All that is tonight. I'll tell you what, you want to get out there early, ladies and gentlemen. We want to pack those uh, stands to the rafters and have a good-looking audience for TV as we're seen on 141 stations nationwide. Music City Wrestling. Colorado Kid working on the arm of Trailer Park Trash. Colorado Kid threatening the patented claw hold and Trailer Park Trash wants nothing to do with that and is bailing out of the ring. The Colorado Kid, a former unified world champion, defeated Jerry the King Lawler October 4th of last year in Jonesboro, Arkansas for the unified world title belt. Of course, he's competed at WCW and is here in Music City Wrestling. And I tell you what, he is one of the fan favorites that people love, the Colorado Kid. I wish I had just a small percent of his marketing of his pictures and t-shirt sales. I could retire today. Beautiful arm drag on Trailer Park Trash. Colorado Kid again going for the cloth. Trailer Park Trash stops him there. Laying the boots to the Colorado Kid. Handful of hair. Runs his head into the turnbuckle. Trailer Park Trash, I'm telling you what, he's one not to take lightly. He's a very big star for the Ohio Valley Wrestling Association. Wrestling just outside of Louisville, Kentucky. Promoter Danny Davis doing a whale of a job up there. And I want to say hello to all the fans in Louisville, Kentucky. And make sure you support the Ohio Valley Wrestling Alliance over there in Jeffersonville, Indiana. What a great group of wrestlers over there. Whips Trailer Park across. Oh, meets a boot to the face on the Colorado Kid. And he stunned the Colorado Kid. Trailer Park Trash out with the clothesline. Sends Colorado Kid to the mat and he hit his head awful hard on that canvas. Trailer Park, very smart, going for the pin. Count of two on the Colorado Kid. Colorado Kid, arm drag on Trailer Park Trash. Come out of nowhere. I tell you what, Colorado Kid, tonight, when that match takes place of him and Flash planning, and I tell you what, that's going to be worth the $8 ticket price alone. Count of two, Colorado Kid on Trailer Park Trash. Probably the first matchup I've seen of Flash Flanagan, Colorado Kid, and I can't wait. Flanagan, of course, is coming into his own. I'll tell you what, incredible, credible star Flash Flanagan has become here at Music City Wrestling. Whips Colorado Kid across. Colorado with the boot to his own. Runs Trailer Park Trash into the corner. And the claw on Trailer Park Trash. There's a patented claw hold made famous by the Von Erich family. Colorado Kid has the claw on. It's on tight. Down hard. Yep, one, two, three, another victory by the patented claw hold with the Colorado Kid. With me now, ladies and gentlemen, the Colorado Kid, the man a lot of fans claim is the real North American heavyweight champion. And tonight, yes, tonight on that big card right out there at the Nashville Fairgrounds Sports Arena, you're going to collide with Flash Flanagan, one of the absolute toughest wrestlers here at Music City Wrestling. And I got to believe, if you can get the victory tonight, Terry Golden can no longer put off giving you a title shot. Well, you know, everybody out there knows that I'm the real North American heavyweight champion. Even Terry Golden knows that. But I tell you what, I'm not looking past tonight. I got to go up against one of the toughest competitors out here in Music City Wrestling, and that's Flash Flanagan. And I know that you like to fly all over the place and you hit people with chairs and all this other crazy stuff. But let me tell you something. I'm not the North, I'm, I wasn't the North American heavyweight champion because I was some kind of sissy because I'll give it right back to you, baby. I promise you that, Flash. Oh, absolutely. You were a consummate wrestler and a wrestler you are. And Flash Flanagan, he can come with all the aerial attack, but he's going to have to wrestle tonight at the fairgrounds. Right. He's going to be doing a lot of flipping and flopping, but it's going to going to be because the Colorado kids are doing it. And Terry Golden, you keep you keep that belt. Polish it up nice and pretty because, you know, it's just something fake around you. You didn't earn that belt, and I'm coming back. I'm going to show you how to earn it and how to keep it. Well, you know, tonight, Wolfie D, he got a title shot at Terry Golden tonight. Wolfie D could get the upset win. Then you'd have to be going after Wolfie D for that belt. But I know you want that belt. You've held it almost five years. Well, you know more than well. I want that belt. I want that Terry Golden. That's what I want, and I'm going to get a hold of you. And you're going to know where I come from, and you're going to know why I'm there. Tonight it's going to happen at the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena. Colorado Kid against Flash Flanagan. Don't miss that match.
Watch as Stridex does absolutely nothing to this terrible bathtub ring. Yuck, it'll never come off. And wait, that's not all. Just look at the unsightly tarnish on Grandma's priceless tea service. Stridex will never get it out. Oh, no. This horrible coffee stain has been there for days. And with Stridex, we guarantee it'll be there for the rest of your life. So why doesn't Stridex work in any of these situations? Because Stridex is for cleaning your face. Stridex works great on zits. Send the money, Western Union, and the heartbreak it caused. What happened, Alex? Um, my cousin Richie was getting married, and uh, the night before he calls me up, he lost his wallet and he can't pay for the tux. And? I went to the overnight delivery place. Do not send cash! This is right here on the envelope! Do you want to see the wedding photos? Yeah! yeah. Here's Richie and his lovely bride, Faye. Oh. Hey, it's your money. Use Western Union, the fastest way to send money worldwide. Phone Patrol from 1-800-COLLECT. Attention, citizens! I've got big news! 1-800-COLLECT is now 10 cents a minute every evening! Whoa, 10 cents a minute? That's cheap! Yep, 1-800-COLLECT, you'll save so much you can buy a new hairstyle, sonny! I never thought collect calling could be so inexpensive! <laughs> Isn't saving money fun? 1-800-COLLECT, 10 cents a minute every evening, all week long. This one should be a dandy, ladies and gentlemen. In the ring, one of my personal favorites, Chris Michaels in the blue tights against Canada's Buff Anderson. Chris Michaels, a couple of great arm drags on Buff Anderson. Beautiful drop kick. Chris Michaels, I'll tell you what, he's on fire. Chris Michaels, wrestling out of Bowling Green, Kentucky. And I tell you what, what a great athlete he is. Chris Michaels just now coming into his own. And I tell you what, he has he has earned a great reputation as a great mat wrestler here at Music City Wrestling. And I tell you what, the reason I promote wrestling is for family entertainment. I mean, we're here because we want to entertain the family. That's mother, father, grandfather, grandmother, and the children. We want the family to come. That's why when you come to the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena, there are no beer sales, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, you don't have to worry about t days of old when you'd worry about being in the stands and, and uh, maybe having beer spilled on you or something. You come to the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena, check it out tonight. It's a brand new app atmosphere, ladies and gentlemen, alcohol-free environment. We cater to the kids. We cater to the family. Come on out to the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena. I was so thrilled last Saturday night to see so many kids finally enjoying Music City Wrestling. And I don't know how many parents I had come up to me and say, Bert Prentice, you have done an incredible job turning this place into a family place. And I tell you what, we do not toler tolerate any vulgarity. We do not tolerate any drinking. Will you come out we treat you with respect. We give you some of the hottest wrestling in the world, but we do it in a very safe, very controlled environment. We want you to have a great time. Our wrestlers will respect you. And let, it, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. You want that autograph. You want that picture taken. Our wrestlers are happy to do it for you because we are here for the family element here in Nashville, Tennessee. And that is the only reason that I work my butt off every week to bring hot New wrestling action every week out here at the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena for family, strictly family sports entertainment. So you come out, I promise you, you have a Burt Prentice guarantee. I'll promise you the best wrestling you've seen probably in 10 years. My wrestlers work harder than anybody in the country. I'll put these shows up against anybody. You don't have to worry about beer sales. It's a non-smoking policy. But let me tell you something. The smokers, we have a nice place out front where you can go have a cigarette outside the building. We respect everybody, and we respect everybody's rights. Come on, check out the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena. Bring your kids. It's a great place to bring the kids to Music City Wrestling. Buff Anderson there. Draping Chris Michaels over the second rope. And then tonight would be a great night because it's an international TV taping. Kids, tell mom and dad, let's go to wrestling. Let's go be on TV. Whoa, what a move by Anderson there. Come off the top rope, almost chopped his head off. My gosh. 
Chris Michael survived the attack of Buff Anderson. Going for the three. Does he have him? Whoa, he's got a two and almost. Chris Michaels and Buff Anderson. I knew this would be a great matchup. Buff Anderson wrestling out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Like I said, kids, tell mom and dad, let's go to wrestling tonight. We got Wolfie D going for the North American heavyweight title against Terry Golden with Princess D. Big six-man tag action tonight right there at the fairgrounds when Shane Eden teams up with two of his idols, Reno Riggins and Stephen Dunn taking on Trailer Park Trash, the very dangerous Bone Crusher, and Hollywood Jason Lee. You got a match that I think is going to be unbelievable, Flash Rannigan and Colorado Kid. It's just going to be a heck of a night of wrestling. Jamie Dundee will be there, Billy Joe Travis, the 451-pound male stripper, Frenchie Riviera, and a host of others right down there at the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena tonight, 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 tonight. And also, so many people call the office saying about this MCW Wrestling Academy. We are we are operating the academy. It is up and running. Uh, they train uh, every Saturday out at the fairgrounds. It's at 1 o'clock. But if you want information, come out to a show, and they'll give you information right there at the box office if you're interested. In, and uh, I know a lot of people were training when the USWA was operating. And if any of you uh, trainees want to come back in and uh, get your classes started going again, just come on out to the fairgrounds, and we'll give you information on how to do that. Right now, the class is almost full, but we're starting a second one on Saturday. So, high backdrop on Buff Anderson, Chris Michaels. Tell you what, for a long time, he was in a tag team with Todd Morton. But I tell you what, as of late, Chris Michaels has been coming on as a, a, a singles wrestler and doing a great, great job. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you'll be hearing us talk on and off about the fabulous February reunion show. It's our next big super card coming to the Nashville Sports Arena, and that will be on Saturday night, February 7th. It marks the return of the Rock and Roll Express, Ricky and Robert, to Nashville Wrestling, Saturday night, February 7th. And Chris Michaels landed that one, and nope, it was not enough on Buff Anderson. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud as I've ever been, Music City Wrestling yesterday was voted unanimously as a new member of the NWA, the National Wrestling Alliance, the world's oldest oldest governing body of professional wrestling and we are now a member of the NWA and we cannot be more proud of that and I'd like to thank Howard Brody and Victor Quinones and uh, Dennis Carluzzo and all the folks that welcomed us with open arms and Music City Wrestling now under the sanction of the NWA hey it's big time folks Chris Michaels there now going to the top rope what's he gonna do Buff Anderson though goes the ropes Whoa. Well, Chris Michaels wasn't expecting that, I'll guarantee you. Buff Anderson, Canada's own Buff Anderson there, climbs to the top rope. Now, what's he going to do? Oh, my gosh, a Frankensteiner off the top rope. Chris Michaels down, I think that does it, ladies and gentlemen. Doggone it. Oh, my gosh, Chris Michaels kicked out. Chris Michaels just kicked out at the last, I'm telling you, the last tenth of a second. Unbelievable. Anderson now going to the top rope. Looks like he's setting off for a moonsault. Nobody's home. Chris Michaels had enough wherewithal left to get out of the way. Now Michaels, he's climbing back to the top rope. What in the world? What a great match this has been. High elbow off the top rope, and that was enough to get the three count. Your winner, Chris Michaels here on Music City Wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a big, big show tonight at the National Fairground Sports Arena. Starts at 8 o'clock. It's a national TV taping. We need you in the audience. You know you're the best-looking wrestling audience in the whole world. Come on out. Jam the stands tonight because we want to see you at Music City Wrestling. Let me tell you who's going to be there. PG-13, Nick Dinsmore, Frenchie Riviera, Mike Maverick, Jason Lee, a big six-man tag team match with Shane Eden. Stephen Dunn, Reno Riggins on one team against Trailer Park Trash, the Bone Crusher, and Jason Lee on the other team. Look at this one. Two superstars collide when the Colorado Kid meets Flash Flanagan. And in the main event, ladies and gentlemen, Terry Golden, along with Princess D, finally put the North American title on the line against Wolfie D. Don't miss tonight. It's a TV taping, and let me tell you, it is going to be hot, hot, hot. 
Wrestling coming to Springfield, Tennessee at the National Guard Armory in Springfield Friday night, January 23rd, 8 o'clock at the National Guard Armory in Springfield. Wolfie D will be there, Flash Flanagan, Stephen Dunn, Colorado Kid, and a whole lot more. Wrestling returning to Lebanon Saturday night, January 24th. Colorado Kid will be there. It's at the brand new airport armory located right next to the airport in Lebanon, Tennessee. Wolfie D, Flash Flanagan, Stephen Dunn, Dangerous Doug Gilbert. And don't forget, fabulous February reunion show, Saturday, February 7th. The Rock and Roll Express return to Nashville, February 7th. We'll see you tonight. Tonight for the big TV taping, lots of matches, lots of excitement. Come on out, starts at 8 o'clock. We'll see you tonight at ringside. One of the most historic wrestling matches in Nashville, Tennessee, now available on home video, Tennessee Homecoming 97. Don't miss the scaffold match, the ladder match, the induction of the legends, 10 awesome matches. Don't miss this chance to order Tennessee Homecoming 97, only $20. Send check or money order to Choice Cuts Video, 998 Elm Hill Pike, Nashville, Tennessee, 37210. Don't miss this chance. My sister discovered it. She said that I could save over AT&T on every call in the U.S. just by dialing 10-321. So I told my brother in Atlanta. I save 50% on all calls over 20 minutes. That's half off. So I told a friend in L.A. You just dial 10-321, then won the area code and a number. And on and on it goes. No fees. There's no signing up. And you get great international rates. 10-321, that's all you got to remember. Good news travels fast. Twice the goodness. Twice the goodness. Twice the taste. Twice the taste. Twice the smile. Twice the smile. Upon your face. It's always nice to have it twice. And when you share it twice as nice. Chocolate caramel cookies times two. It's two for me and none for you. In the ring, ladies and gentlemen, the North American heavyweight champion and the Southern heavyweight champion, Terry Golden, with Princess D at ringside. And this match will be against Charlie Laird in the black trunks, ladies and gentlemen. First time we've had a look at Charlie Laird. Grabs Terry Golden in a headlock. Referee Gene Johnson staying on top of the action. And talking about action, we're coming on the road, ladies and gentlemen, returning to Springfield. Our first time in Springfield, Tennessee, at the Springfield National Guard Armory. It'll be Friday night, January 23rd, at the National Guard Armory, the new home for wrestling in Springfield. First time ever for Music City Wrestling. We're looking forward to it. That's Friday night, the 23rd. And then returning to Lebanon, Saturday night, the 24th, over in Lebanon, a big card out at the airport armory, the home of Music City Wrestling for a long, long time. We're looking forward to getting back there Saturday night, January 24th in Lebanon. Terry Golden now with a massive headlock on Charlie Laird there. Princess D, also known as Debbie Combs, on the outside of the ring, just loves this action. Charlie Laird now got Terry Golden in the leg scissors. 
Action tonight at the Fairgrounds Arena, ladies and gentlemen, starts at 8 o'clock. Terry Golden will defend the North American heavyweight title, not the Southern belt, but he will defend the North American belt tonight against one half of PG-13 and one of Nashville's favorites, Wolfie D, tonight right down there at the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena. You want to see it. Flash Flanagan will collide with the Colorado Kid. Plus, ladies and gentlemen, big six-man tag team match. I cannot wait to see this. When Shane Eden teams up with two of his idols, Stephen Dunn and Reno Riggins, taking on Trailer Park Trash, Hollywood Jason Lee, and the very dangerous Bone Crusher. J.C. Ice will be in action tonight. Billy Joe Travis, the 451-pound male stripper, Frenchie Riviera. Girls, you're going to like this newcomer. His name is Mike Maverick. He'll be there tonight. Hosts of others will be there tonight. Check it out. Wrestling tonight starts at 8 o'clock at the fairgrounds. We'll be doing a national TV taping tonight, and we want you in the audience. Because like I said many times, you are the best-looking audience in all of wrestling. Come tonight to the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena. Alcohol-free environment. We're there for the kids, and you know it's a party when you come to Music City Wrestling. Princess D on the outside of the ring, clapping for her man, Terry Golden. Princess D, the last few weeks, has been in Honolulu, Hawaii. I suppose she'll have a major suntan tonight when she returns to the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena. There you seen earlier, Princess D helping her man, Terry Golden, by choking Charlie Laird on that bottom rope. You always have to be aware of Princess D on the outside. She was a, a great ladies wrestler for, heck, almost 20 years, and she knows that ring probably better than anybody. And she will help her man, Terry Golden. Of course, we call Princess D the witch from Brentwood. And I tell you what, there she is again, slugging Charlie Laird right in the mouth. My gosh, Jean, turn around, and she does it again. And I'm telling you what, Debbie Combs or Princess D, whatever, she can hit hard. I tell you what, Charlie Laird, just such a distraction there at ringside. Princess D, people don't like her down there. I know Bonnie Baldwin don't like Princess D. Oh, Charlie Laird reverses on Terry Golden. Golden down, landed on that shoulder. Charlie Laird looks to be in some great shape. Backs him in, whips him across the ring. Comes off with a low clothesline. Golden goes down. Charlie Laird going for the pin. Gets the count of two. All you fundraisers out there, I know there's a lot of you volunteer fire department. It's that time of year. You're all needing some cash. There's only one way that I can think of you can raise a lot of cash, and that's bring live wrestling to your town. Let me tell you, we're nation's number one fundraiser, pro wrestling. Bring us to your town. The fire department over there in Woodbury. Come on, we want to come to Woodbury. Valley View, all you folks there. Portland, Pulaski. Come on, give us a call. Call today. Just fax us, 615-365-0662. Fax us your name and number, and a representative will call you. Just say, we'd like some information on sponsoring card. The fax number, there it's on the screen. 615-365-0662. Send us a fax. Let us know that you're interested in a fundraiser, and we'll have a representative call you, and we will bring wrestling to your town. There's no huge deposits up front. We work on a percentage, but we can raise you a lot of money. If you're a cheerleaders organization, JCs, Lions Club, we're getting ready to come to Streeter, Illinois. We'll be in Carbondale for the JCs. We're going to be in Harrisburg, Illinois, coming up next month. Raise a lot of money for the JCs every year. But you volunteer fire departments especially. You're some of my favorite groups because you all work real hard. And you need to raise the money because you're all self-supported. But let me tell you something. You bring wrestling to your town, I'll guarantee you we'll pack that gymnasium and make you more money than you've ever seen. Fax us today, 615-365-0662. Bring hot live wrestling action to your town. Want to say hello also to all the fans over in Dixon. We'll be returning to Dixon. I bring Friday night, Friday the 13th card, Friday, February 13th in Dixon. Had a great time last night in Dixon, and great seeing all them fans over there. And Miss Claudine over at the Fleaport in Dixon. Don't forget, too, ladies and gentlemen, the midget wrestlers will be in Nashville tonight. The midgets will be in Nashville tonight in action. Lone Eagle against Little Josh. Midget wrestlers tonight in Nashville. So there's something for the kids. There's something for Grandma and Grandpa. But if you've not seen the midgets in action, wait till you see tonight. The midgets will be there tonight at the Nashville Fair grounds arena in action and two of the best midgets in the world will be there lone eagle and little josh tonight so get the kids in the car and come out and see the midgets 
Terry Golden. There you see Princess D again interfering in this match. Of course, Gene Johnson is being distracted by Terry Golden. Debbie Combs might as well just dressed out and fought this match on her, on her own. Whips Charlie Laird across. Terry Golden. Tell you what, it's something when a champion has to hide behind a skirt and he's not even wearing it. A bulldog down into the mat, ladies and gentlemen, by Charlie Laird. He's firing up. Come on, kid. Looking good. Kick to the midsection. Don't run out of gas, Laird. A punch to the side. Whips him across. The North American champion goes hard down to the mat, ladies and gentlemen. Goes for the cover. Come on, Gene. Count of one, count of two. Oh. Terry Golden, Charlie Laird taking it to Terry Golden right here on Music City Wrestling. A stop by Charlie Laird. Comes across. Of course, Princess D grabbing the foot, distracting Charlie Laird. Charlie Laird telling her to mind her own business. Well, Terry Golden pulls trunks almost down to his knees and gets the one, two, three. Terry Golden retains the North American champion. Terry Golden, your winner here on Music City Wrestling. It's tonight, tonight, tonight only at the Nashville State Fairgrounds, Music City Wrestling, and one of the big matches they're really talking about, six-man tag team action, when Stephen Dunn, Reno Riggins, brings Style and Shane Eaton aboard, Rookie of the Year, maybe this year, against Trailer Park Trash, the dangerous bone crusher in Hollywood, Jason Lee. That is going to be a barn burner. That's right. You know, I'm sitting right on ready. There's only one thing more exciting than a tag team match, and that's a six-man. And let me tell you something, Bert. I don't know a whole lot about these three guys you got us with, but I'll tell you what I do know. If they're at Music City Wrestling, they're double tough. Now, Shane, let me tell you something. I see a lot of you. And me, when I started out, when oh, yeah. Reno says the same thing, all the fans been watching you, we've been watching you, we're pulling for you for this Rookie of the Year. But tonight, Nashville, don't cut these guys short. We're going to have to be out there. We're going to have to be on our toes every minute. But I'm going to tell you something right now. We're, we're more than proud. We're happy to have you as our partner. We're going to go out there tonight, Nashville, Bird. We're going to kick butt and take names. Yes, you are. Tonight, we are going to have the funnest time of our entire lives. Saturday night is when me, I'm going to be able to go into the ring with two of the best people that I've ever known in wrestling today. Now, what we're going to have is a little party, a little convention, a little get-together, and a little whoop ass. Come on down Saturday night, because we all going to dance and sing. You know, it's a TV taping tonight, 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 only at the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena. Six-man tag action. Terry Golden defends the North American belt against Wolfie D. Colorado Kid collides with Flash Brannigan. J.C. Ice will be there. Nick Dinsmore. The list goes on and on. We'll see you tonight at the Nashville oh, yeah, Fairgrounds baby. Arena. Fire up. Says here you ran over a squirrel when you were 16. Oh, you saw that, huh? No, I was guessing. <laughs> you never put the toilet seat down. What? And you ripped the tag off your mattress. What? Does your bachelor party ring a bell? <laughs> not going anywhere for an eternity? I'm not even going to look at puberty. Hey, does this line ever move? Moving now, isn't it? <laughs> when you're really hungry, grab the big one. Next, you're a winner. Step through, sir. That's odd. Nipped out your pockets. Huh. Are you wearing a watch? Oh, for goodness sake. Every time I come here. After a short vacation, Crash is back. And this time, he's ready for just about anything. I am not comfortable with this. Whoa, hello. PlayStation.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's a big, big show tonight at the Nashville Fairground Sports Arena. Starts at 8 o'clock. It's a national TV taping. We need you in the audience. You know you're the best-looking wrestling audience in the whole world. Come on out. Jam the stands tonight because we want to see you at Music City Wrestling. Let me tell you who's going to be there. PG-13, Nick Dinsmore, Frenchie Riviera, Mike Maverick, Jason Lee, a big six-man tag team match with Shane Eden, Stephen Dunn, Reno Riggins on one team against Trailer Park Trash, the Bone Crusher, and Jason Lee on the other team. Look at this one. Two superstars collide when the Colorado Kid meets Flash Flanagan. And in the main event, ladies and gentlemen, Terry Golden, along with Princess D, finally put the North American title on the line against Wolfie D. Don't miss tonight. It's a TV taping, and let me tell you, it is going to be hot, hot, hot. Wrestling coming to Springfield, Tennessee, at the National Guard Armory in Springfield, Friday night, January 23rd, 8 o'clock, at the National Guard Armory in Springfield. Wolfie D will be there, Flash Flanagan, Stephen Dunn, Colorado Kid, and a whole lot more. Wrestling returning to Lebanon Saturday night, January 24th. Colorado Kid will be there. It's at the brand new Airport Armory located right next to the airport in Lebanon, Tennessee. Wolfie D, Flash Flanagan, Stephen Dunn, Dangerous Doug Gilbert. And don't forget, fabulous February reunion show, Saturday, February 7th. The Rock and Roll Express return to Nashville, February 7th. We'll see you tonight. Tonight for the big TV taping, lots of matches, lots of excitement. Come on out, starts at 8 o'clock. We'll see you tonight at ringside. One of the most historic wrestling matches in Nashville, Tennessee, now available on home video, Tennessee Homecoming 97. Don't miss the scaffold match, the ladder match, the induction of the legends, 10 awesome matches. Don't miss this chance to order Tennessee Homecoming 97. Only $20. Send check or money order to Choice Cuts Video, 998 Elm Hill Pike, Nashville, Tennessee, 37210. Don't miss this chance. For centuries, they told us the terror would come from above. What if it came from below? It's nothing. Phantoms, rated R, starts everywhere January 23rd. Honey, we won. Huh? A Sony Home Entertainment Center, a Lazy Boy recliner, and $500 for a party. Snickers is giving away the living room of your dreams. Ah. Or nightmares. What'd we win? Oh, nothing. Snickers. Why wait? Win something. What's your night? America is now on sale for $59, thanks to Greyhound. So if there are people you need to see, places you need to be, now is the time to go Greyhound. Plan ahead, call Greyhound, and go anywhere we go for $59 or less. It's tag team action here on Music City Wrestling, and two of the favorites, the Wild Boys in the ring, against two of the most unfavorite, the Centerfolds. The Centerfolds claiming they weigh 182 pounds apiece, more like 682 pounds. Ken Arden and Johnny Arden taking on the Wild Boys, Steve Neely and Ben Jordan. 
And I tell you what, Nashville loves the Wild Boys. Your two boys live locally here in Nashville, have competed all around the place from for Steve Bryant down there in McMinnville or, or down in uh, Cookville. They, they're regular stars over in Columbia. And I tell you what, they're just two fine, fine human beings, and I'm tickled to have them on the show today. Ben Jordan, Steve Neely, a great tag team here at Music City Wrestling, and we're happy to have them aboard. And uh, they'll be returning to the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena real soon. They were there last Saturday night. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the big one tonight at Nashville starts at 8 o'clock. The midgets are in town tonight, so bring the kids because the kids love the midgets. Of course, so does Grandma and Grandpa. Bring them, too. And see two of the best midget wrestlers in the whole world tonight. Lone Eagle against Little Josh, plus Colorado Kid Colossus with uh, Flash Flanagan. That's going to be an unbelievable match. Wolfie D going for the belt tonight. Come on out, cheer Wolfie D on to victory, and, and let's hope he takes that North American title away from Terry Golden and Princess D. Six-man tag action tonight. Style and Shane Eden teaming with two of his idols, Stephen Dunn and Reno Riggins. And they're going to take on Turtle Park Trash, Bone Crusher, and Hollywood Jason Lee. Then you got the Midgets. You got Frenchie Riviera. You got Billy Joe Travis. You got Nick Dinsmore returning. Also, ladies and gentlemen, you can vote for 1998 Rookie of the Year tonight. We're going to be handing out ballots again. We're going to be announcing the winner on the broadcast that will air Valentine's Day. That's very appropriate. Valentine's Day, February 14th, we will announce the Rookie of the Year. The balloting is so close, only a few votes, and I mean few, like two, separate Nick Dinsmore and Style and Shane Eden from who's going to win the 1998 Rookie of the Year honors. And uh, we just, uh, we're going to extend it a few more weeks, let you fans vote. We're going to let the fans in Dixon vote. We're going to let the fans in Lebanon vote. Let the fans in Springfield vote. And we will announce, of course, we're going to take the tally off the Internet. That has been neck and neck since it started. And if you'd like to tap into our website, you just go into mcwrestling.com and you have the finest wrestling website in the whole world right there, Music City Wrestling, and that'll tell you everything you, you need to know. And there's a message board. You can leave your message for your favorite wrestler. You can see pictures of your favorite stars. It gives our complete schedule. A lot of the inside gossip. Also, in a couple of weeks, and I'm real excited, that I'll be hosting the Music City Wrestling 1-900 line where you can call 24 hours a day. You know how I love gossip. And uh, I'll be putting on all the Music City Wrestling and all the world of wrestling gossip 24 hours a day, 1-900 Music City Wrestling line. And we'll be giving you that number two weeks. It starts February 1st. Our new 1-900, 24-hour-a-day hotline you can call. Paul Adams there at ringside, ladies and gentlemen. He's taunting some lady there in the ringside. I think she drove from Columbia that night just to see the Wild Boys in action here at the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena. Ken Arden, the smallest of the centerfolds, and he's 300 pounds in the ring now. Gene Johnson says, nope, you're not the legal man. Get out of the ring. Ben Jordan in the green, Steve Neely in the pink. They consist of the Wild Boys, former tag team champions, former, former Southern tag team champions. And like I said, they're two Nashvillians and very proud of it. The centerfolds, I tell you what, former world tag team champions, uh, Ken Arden and Johnny Arden, and they are nobody to take lightly, I'll guarantee you. They have headline cards all throughout the Mid-South, and uh, we're happy to have them here. They're two great competitors. Double shoulder block down, and Ken Arden hits the mat. Steve Neely now in. Grabs the arm of Ken Arden, twists it around. Steve Neely, I remember when he had hair down the, the back to the small of his back. Steve Neely. Short hair now, don't even resemble what he used to look like. Up and over, and a drop kick by wall boy Steve Neely on Ken Arden, and Arden down. He's tagging out, he says, I've had enough of this one. Johnny Arden, 351 pounds, enters the ring. These centerfolds, I'll tell you what, they may claim to weigh 189, but I think a visual effect is a little more uh, proper in this stance. i tell you what, and you add Frenchie Riviera to the mix, who sometimes works as the third member of the centerfolds, and you have over 1,000 pounds in the corner of that ring. And i tell you what, that is a lot of weight, ladies and gentlemen. Also, I want to thank everybody who's ordered the Music City Wrestling T-shirt. We got brand new 1998 shirts. They're red and white. 
15 bucks. We pay shipping. And the address, ladies and gentlemen, P.O. Box 17855, Nashville 37217. Any merchandise you'd like to get from Music City Wrestling, you can just use that address. Paul Adams there, Trip, Steve Neely. The centerfold's now taking it to town on the Wild Boys, ladies and gentlemen. Hot action here at Music City Wrestling. You can catch it all tonight at the Nashville Fairground Sports Arena. All starts at 8 o'clock. Doors open at 6 o'clock. Get a good seat. Get right in front of the TV camera so you're on every shot. You know, like I've said a thousand times, Music City Wrestling, the fans are the best in the world, the best-looking wrestling audience in all of wrestling. We're on 141 stations nationwide, and we want you to be on there. We're also available 24 hours worldwide on the Internet, so come on down. Be part of the action tonight at the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena. Paul Adams there taunting the audience. Whips Steve Neely across and... <laughs> Oh, my gosh, double-team effort of the centerfolds. you got to give them credit. These guys may be huge, but they can flat wrestle. They absolutely can, and that's one reason they're here at Music City Wrestling, because we wrestle. This is not the clowns coming out through smoke. We're not going to have these people dressed up like Christmas trees or elves or... Or, or whatever the heck's going on in the wrestling business these days. You come to Music City Wrestling. We don't want to disappoint you. You're coming to see wrestling. You're, you want to see a fight? Show up at the fairgrounds. You'll see a fight. You'll see an all-out war. We're not going to pussyfoot around. We're going to give you a hot live wrestling the way Grandma and Grandpa grew up seeing at the fairgrounds. Well, let's back every Saturday night. And I tell you what, you want to see a good one tonight. Terry Golden and Wolfie D will blow the roof off of that building. Flash Franigan and Colorado Kid, I'm telling you, will be one of the best technical wrestling matches I've ever seen in my entire life. That will happen tonight. You've got the Burt Prentice guarantee. Plus the midgets in town. Billy Joe Travis, anything can happen when he hits ringside. So come on out tonight and you can see the best. Nick Dinsmore will be there tonight. And I tell you what, the fans love Nick Dinsmore. Looking forward to seeing him back in town. Paul Adams outside the ring leading the centerfolds on. Centerfolds double teaming Steve Neely over on the floor. Ben Jordan being distracted by Paul Adams. Referee Gene Johnson trying to restore some order here. He's totally lost control of this match. In the ring now, Steve Neely with uh, Johnny Arden, the medium-sized centerfold, if you would. Takes him across, down hard on the back of Steve Neely. After slamming him on the concrete floor, I'm sure that doesn't feel very good. Box office opens tonight at 6 o'clock. Also, for you fans in Springfield, we'll be coming to Springfield Friday night, January 23rd. And then the 24th, we're in Lebanon at the Lebanon Airport Armory. Also want to mention again, too, that Music City Wrestling now is a charter member of the NWA, National Wrestling Alliance, the world's oldest governing body for professional wrestling. And we are absolutely thrilled to be part and sanctioned by the NWA right here. So when you see action, you know it's big time action here at Music City Wrestling. There again, Paul Adams with the towel. Now you know why we call him Towel Boy. Draped the towel over Steve Neely there on the bottom rope. Of course, Gene Johnson's over there being distracted. Now trying to get Ben Jordan out of the ring after Ken Arden was taunting Ben Jordan. Here are the fans. Go, Steve, go. They love the Wild Boys here in Nashville. And we'll be having them back to the fairgrounds real, real soon. Reno Regans returns to the fairgrounds. Now a lot of fans love him. He'll be there tonight. Come on down, have your picture taken with Reno, Stephen Dunn, Colorado Kid, Wolfie D. Our wrestlers will treat you with respect, and they're glad you're here. And it's a fun place to be every Saturday night down at the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena. Non-alcoholic building. No alcohol is served in that building. We're a family show. We want kids out there. We're trying to entertain the kids. There's just nothing anymore for the kids to do around that doesn't just absolute cost a fortune and get them a... a away from the house one night and get them out to a hot live wrestling crowd. I guarantee you when the kids go home that night, they'll sleep better than they ever have because we'll, we'll drain all their energy out of them. Hooting and hollering down at the wrestling matches. Music City Wrestling style every Saturday night at the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena. Paul Adams there again getting Ben Jordan all distracted there at ringside. The center folds with Paul Adams. Three of the most devious minds here in Music City Wrestling. 
Steve Neely there firing up, firing up. He needs to make the tag. He's got Johnny Arden rocking and rolling over there. Steve, get over and make the tag. Whips the big Arden across the ring. Oh, and a boot down. Doggone it, Steve. Roll over and tag. He needs to make the tag to his partner, Ben Jordan. You hear the fans again? Go, Steve, go. They're wanting to see the tag to Ben Jordan. Ben Jordan, a veteran wrestler around Nashville for the past 10 years, an absolute fan favorite. There, Ken Arden comes in the ring. Hey, Steve has made the tag, has made the tag. Ben is in. One, two, and the referee did not see the tag because he was over with Ken Arden getting him out. The referee did not see the tag. Unbelievable. The referee missed the tag and is making Jordan get out of the ring again. See, there is the tenacity of Paul Adams and the centerfolds. They're such a well-oiled machine working together. They can distract the referee at a second's notice and there cause Ben Jordan and not to be tagged in legally and the referee puts him out. Steve Neely, the beating continues on Steve Neely. He simply has got to make the tag in this match. The centerfolds there, Ken Arden over there taunting him again. Ben's coming in because he's not going to take no guff off of nobody. There's, <laughs> I think Ben's just had it. He's staying in there. Referee, do what you want. I don't care. I'm coming in. I have tagged. I'm really the legal man. There, Johnny and Steve go out to the outside of the ring. Ken Arden, fist to cuffs with Ben Jordan, whips him across the ring. Jordan up and over. Has a centerfold down for a three count. He's not the legal man, though. Paul Adams, what's he doing now? Oh, my gosh! What was that? It sounded like a brick or something. Just hit Ben Jordan from the high. Gene, he's not the legal man. Gene Johnson's awarding the match to the centerfolds. I don't believe Jordan's a legal man, but either way, in the record books, it's going to go down as a victory for the centerfolds. One of the most historic wrestling matches in Nashville, Tennessee. Now available on home video, Tennessee Homecoming 97. Don't miss the scaffold match, the ladder match, the induction of the legends, 10 awesome matches. Don't miss this chance to order Tennessee Homecoming 97. Only $20. Send check or money order to Choice Cuts Video, 998 Elm Hill Pike, Nashville, Tennessee, 37210. Don't miss this chance. Hi, I'm Bob Vila, and I want to show you another great innovation in Craftsman hand tools. It's the Craftsman Quick Wrench, exclusively from Sears. The Quick Wrench is a combination wrench with a unique open-end design that makes it work like a ratchet. An ordinary open-end wrench has to be removed and repositioned after every turn. But the Craftsman Quick Wrench stays in continuous contact, making the job faster and easier. And what about those places where a ratchet and socket won't fit? That's where the quick wrench really comes in handy. It's made to reach right into tight spaces, and the ratcheting action gets the job done in no time. The Craftsman Quick Wrench can be used almost anywhere, in the garage, in the yard, and in your home. No toolbox is complete without a quick wrench set. And because it's a Craftsman hand tool made in America, it's guaranteed forever. Call now to order your set of six Craftsman Quick Wrenches in standard or metric for only $19.99 plus shipping and handling. Use your Sears card or other credit card and call 1-800-899-7711. Call right now. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it's a big, big show tonight at the Nashville Fairground Sports Arena. Starts at 8 o'clock. It's a national TV taping. We need you in the audience. You know you're the best-looking wrestling audience in the whole world. Come on out. Jam the stands tonight because we want to see you at Music City Wrestling. Let me tell you who's going to be there. PG-13, Nick Dinsmore, Frenchie Riviera, 